Alrighty, I'm back from a long, looks like a long uh, duration here. Okay, sports news review is back. Today, I'm going to do sports news, NFL, college draft comments. Well, it's a little late, but I was, I did a live stream and I kept cutting out on that one. I kept getting cut out on the live stream on that one. Just NFL kept, maybe because it just kept saying NFL on it. But it was, it was a weird it was a weird experience, but we'll go with just regular sports news right now. Okay. Let's see. We got, okay. Let's start with, oh, oh, strange news from the NHL. Oilers defenseman Danelle Nurse suspended one game for instigating fight. I didn't know he, that was a rule in the NHL. Let's see. Okay, this is cold. This is cold reading here. I didn't uh, get a chance to. The National Hockey League has suspended Oilers defenseman Darnell, Darnell Nurse one game for instigating a fight in the final five minutes of regulation time. In the 4-1 win over the Vegas Golden Knights on Wednesday. Nurse was assessed a minor penalty for instigating a major penalty for fighting and a 10-minute misconduct for instigating following a fight with Knights defenseman Nicholas Haig at 19-10 of the third period. Okay, that's almost, game's almost over there. Nurse will be forced to sit out game five in Las Vegas with the best of seven series tied 2-2. I didn't even know that was something because yesterday, the uh, oh yeah, the Leafs won and that uh, staved off the uh, chance of now a sweep. But I was watching it and there was I was watching it watching the game yesterday. And then one of the things I didn't like was when uh, the defenseman on the Panthers uh, ran uh, the the Toronto player right into the boards when the whistle blew. And the, and the whistle was clearly blown, but he just kept going. I think I think uh, he's he's a he's a big guy on. I forget his name now. He was a big guy on uh, Panthers, but it's like if you're. I understand if you're a Toronto fan, you must you must be thinking that something's weird going on, huh? Like the whistle was clearly blown, and he didn't. And he kept going, like it didn't even like. Attempt to make a stop or anything, and, and the, the ref was looking right at it. It's like as if, wait, wait, the ref was looking some like, no, the ref, one referee or linesman, was looking right at the right at the right at the uh, uh, the player Gudas. Gudas is uh, is his last name, I think. I was like. I, I wanted I wanted Florida to lose so bad that game because of that. Just that one play made me sick. Like going, you know what? I I can't. I just hope Florida loses this game. It's just like it didn't. It just it just kind of like oh, it just so upset me that they like, like they just didn't even they didn't care. And it, at the end of the game, Florida was like, they're counting this thing about instigating a fight and everything. And they suspend this person for a game. Like, the end of the game, Florida decides to freaking just pound the guys on boards at the end, near the end of the game. But the game is over. What was it, Matthew uh, Marner? Got, it was like, the refs looked at it. It was like, oh, no big deal. Oh, just break it up, boys. Break. And one guy's pleading, hey, uh, this guy, this guy's uh, trying to instigate a fight here. And, I don't want anything to do. Oh, but nothing. Not, oh, but it's Florida. Oh, no, nothing. No, man. Nothing to see here, folks. Nothing to see here, folks, when it's Florida. But when it's Edmonton, a Canadian city, do I, I don't know. It sounds crazy. I, I'm not going that route. I never want to go that route. But it just didn't look right. The optics right now, this looks like, okay, if you're a Canadian team, you're going to, you, you get, you, you have to be extra good. Uh, behavior, you have to beat your but if your team like an American team that they're dying let's, let's face facts here, the NHL is dying for the Florida Panthers to make it to the, to the third round, fourth round um, 
they don't mind Toronto. They wouldn't mind if Toronto goes through, but they really would like Florida because you know it's an uns- underserved market that just die- die to fa- keep the fan base happy. But I don't know. I I don't know the same. It's like things like that just turn you off to the point of saying like, wait. I'm not even neutral. Well, I, I want Toronto to win just based on the locality of where I live. And generally speaking, when Toronto wins, eh, it's in a good mood. And the town, even like, even, it doesn't have to be Toronto because even your local town would probably have like a nice setup to, if they make it to the Stanley Cup finals, there'll be a lot of towns in, in you know, in Ontario, which will have like, uh, parties, downtown parties, for, or, or Market Square parties for, for if the Leafs make it in the finals. If, I'm talking Stanley Cup finals. And so, uh, you know, it, it's just a feel-good atmosphere kind of deal. But uh, that was strange, though. So I'll check out some other sports news here real quickly because I love the NFL mostly. Okay. Do I do I go into figure skating? Let us go into figure skating because it's I have I've no idea. I'm never gonna watch figure skating. Figure skating, I think deal is graceful for positive. Oh, okay, cancer recovery. Oh, oh. So I, I'll click. Let me take a look at the story here. Oh, that's oh. I don't know who who the person is. I don't want to be poor me story. Good, f- good for him or her. Okay, it's her. C- Canadian Canadian Piper Giller top. It shows a picture and she's on top. Okay, she's it's a pair. I guess she's a partner pairs. Oh, okay. She has ovarian cancer and she's recovering from ovarian cancer. Oh, I hope she does well. Not just only because she's a Canadian, because you know, because of the surviving cancer. Okay, we got our uh, advancement. Okay, women take. Okay. Okay, so Canadian squash, Canadian women's and men's round of sixteen. Canadian squash. Well, it's live. Uh, okay. Okay, Maple Leaf fans have high hopes as Toronto lives to see another playoff game. Yeah, that's like I said earlier. I was glad that they won. Wow. Oh, wow. I don't know how uh, this is. I don't know if this is like breaking news, but. Flyers name. Keith Jones, team president, Danny Breer, general manager. Okay, when do you stop calling yourself Danny? Danny Bear seen above in 2022 was named general manager of the Philadelphia Flyers by long-time television analyst Keith Jones was tabbed as president of hockey operations on Thursday. I don't know what the difference is. What's a, what's a general manager? What's a manager of hockey operations? Is something new they came up with? The Flyers have been... Drubbed in yet another loss in April 2027. A jury preview for two more address seasons ahead. When analyst Keith Jones went on a televised postgame show and cut loose on the sorry state of the franchise. Wow, and they still made him president of the operations. Hey, that's a good idea. I never thought if you criticize a team, they'll make you president of, the jury, president of operation, hockey operations. All right, maybe I should start criticizing teams, and I'll be the president of hockey operations. And so, wow, that's pretty different. That is different. Let's see. It says here that this is not the onion story. It really is a story. He's criticizing the team, and he's president. Okay, I understand that. I'm looking for the other one is more important. Danny Barrera. Lots of things to do. Jo- Lots of work to be done is a quote because Jones and Barrera have pretty, have plenty of help behind the scenes with the salary cap and the other business workings. 
as a team is best for now. They are popular faces on the franchise that can get out among the fans and sell a vision of a promising future. Breer admitted when he was promoted in early March, the franchise, which has hasn't won a cup since taking the consecutive championship 74. It's folks, if anybody wants to remember, it's it's Philadelphia Flyers won in 74 and 75. In in 76, the Canadians beat the Flyers. I that's things I can I faint oh it's such a long time ago. I faintly remember that. It was but Oh, let's see. Any is there any breaking news? Let's see. All right. Okay, not in breaking news, but just regular news. <laughs> Some alerts are more than others. With an old school coach. And two former Flyers, the franchise is back on its old days of mythology, even as it unveiled a new era of change. Slogan hit on the head of announcements. This is a story franchise with the most passionate fans in the National Hockey League. Yeah, there's, yeah, there's, there's really good fans. I mean, they, they've really put up with a lot over the years. I, I would say it's a it is it is a good idea to rebuild it might it is a good idea to rebuild who they really would have wanted probably was connor bernard if they would have had connor if they would have won connor bernard oh that would have been insane well if they would have won that lottery uh, draft lottery pick. i think they're i think they're in it because they didn't make the playoffs so they i think they're in the draw no can I quietly open up a nice can of cola? Not a chance. Ah, nice. I had a huge glass of water, so I don't know why I want cola for. I'm not that thirsty, but we are committed, unanimously committed to rebuilding and sustaining winning culture. Hillary said. And doing it right. Is Hillary must be but Matt Mellon. Okay. Oh, here here's some related stories to that. Flyers fire general manager Chuck Fletcher named that. That was that was before. Okay, we already that was now he's the perm. The son of the Flyers intern GM dismissed from Mercyhurst hockey team. <gasps> oh he oh wow. You you know if you think your life is in shambles for little small things and like then you hear that it's like the that he he's 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 got to go look for some way to get back into a hockey world. I think he might just have to, he might have to go to Europe to play and try out because I don't know what college is gonna what college team is gonna want to take him now and play in the AHL like that's. I don't know. It's kind of true. Yeah. It's risky. He may not be ready for the AHL, even though he's 23. Maybe 22 or something like that. That's old news, I guess. Wow, he's been dismissed from... So, oh, there it is. This must be old, because... Son of, he was twenty three. Son of Flyers, well, interim. Now he's now he's the now he's the uh, he's yeah he is the general manager. Danny Breer dismissed from Mercyhurst hockey team. Oh wow, that's an, that's son of Philadelphia Flyers interim general manager. Well, he's not the interim general manager now. He is the general manager. 
Danny Briere has been dismissed from the Mercy Hurts hockey team after a video showed him, yeah, showing him the him and another athlete pushing it. I don't know if the other athlete should get dismissed. He didn't really do anything except go to mine. I don't know. Either way, they both have shown both judgment. And it's at 20, at 23 years old. Oh my gosh. I can't even think. As I sit back on the chair really well and try to reflect. At 23 years old, I'm in my I'm on my second hockey team, and I decide to push a wheelchair down for no apparent reason. Um, it couldn't. It, it's like everybody would just say, "Why didn't you just leave the burn chair alone and just go to the party? You're 23 years old." What are you doing here? You, you go, oh, it's just, it's just like, I don't even know if I even wanted to really go out at 23 years old anymore. I, let me try to think. I'm trying to think of the year until I was 23. Yeah, I was still trying to go out, man. I was still, I, I knew I was old. It's a 23 is a strange thing to be. Single and going out to nightclubs, which I don't even see myself ever going to a nightclub again. My gosh, I have no, my age is, it's not just the age. It's, I, it's just, I guess, I guess it is age. Uh, it's, I guess it could be age too, even if I was a science fiction movie turn to a time warp and I'm back in 19 whatever, 80s and whatever, and I'm. Just put me at uh, just put me at an age of twenty three, whatever, whatever I was at twenty three years old. I I just couldn't see myself even walking into one of those things because I just I just don't feel I belong mentally belong there as in like I feel like my age, even though I'm in a body of a twenty three year old. I just don't. I'm not that type of person that like want to. I, I just it, it just change in life. I, I don't I don't have it in me to walk into a establishment like that, a nightclub. <laughs> I just don't could, I couldn't do it. Even though it was let's just say it was a science fiction movie that I was twenty three years old. I just I just couldn't do it. I don't I don't feel right. I just don't feel right at all. It's got to be my age. I seriously just want to be home by 10.30 or something like that. If I'm out, out in a boat past 11 a.m., 11 p.m., 11 a.m., wait, 11 p.m., I, I I feel like it's late, <laughs> like very late. Wow. That Mercy Hurts posted Monday night. Was this this week? I, didn't, I don't know. On Twitter that Carson Beer has been removed from the team. The school said it cannot comment further on the situation. Oh, I know. It's 2023, and, and like, you can't, if you're Mercyhurst College, and it's a, by the way, it's a private Catholic college, they're just, they can't, they can't just let a Carson Beer be more than their school, what their school is all about. And, they know it's a tough decision they did uh, to, like, his life is ruined in the sense that he's he, he doesn't even know what he's going to do next. I don't think he has a clue what he's going to do next. He was just planning to probably go back to school. And let's face facts here. I don't think he was going to school for school. I don't know what courses he was taking. But, wow, if you think, just say, if you think your life is in shambles, he he's he's he he's 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 possibly at his parents' house, just sitting at the table, staring, going, "What did I do next? What did I do?" And yeah, you know, because I've been away for like this video too, something 
happened and I did something wrong. I did something. I didn't. I broke something. I felt really bad about it. And just didn't feel like coming back. On, I just didn't feel like doing any videos or anything like that. Anything like that. But in live streams, I'm going to live stream the XFL game on Monday on Saturday night. Let's go to other sports uh, news. Let's look. Let's see if there's any uh, uh, anything interesting in the world. Let's let's check. Let's go back to world sports news. Okay, let's let's see if there's any world sports news. Uh, I need some music. Maple Leaf Stave off of Nation. Uh, oh, yes. Well, I, I guess this just in today. This is just for hot, like I said, hot off the, hot off the, stop the presses. No, this isn't a stop the presses thing, but this has been a study. The NHL enforcers died 10 years younger than their fellow players. It's, it's, it's something that you have to take in consideration that they don't believe that they're uh, going to die younger. But, um, you know, it's a matter of out helping with outreach. And they got to want to help. They got to want to, uh, you know, get help. And the stigma involved with, like, Getting help is mostly probably they could deal with it themselves, which maybe they can. You know, you gotta, you just, you just gotta go reach for help. But but fighting is down. I don't really watch that much NHL, but I heard it that fighting is significantly down. But it says that. Uh, a study of former National Hockey League players shows that enforcers who spent a lot of time dropping the gloves in the penalty or in the penalty box live significantly shorter lives than their peers. You know, it doesn't have to be even the fighter. It, it could even just possibly be. They didn't even. It's weird how they're going to start probably doing this study again. And seeing that players who had a lot of concussions could probably end up like that. Um, like, if you look, maybe, like, like the other day, players that run players into the boards. It, it, it's a yin and yang thing where even the player that ran the player into the boards can possibly hurt themselves. But hockey is a strange sport, like, how do you, I don't know, I'm sorry to say this, but how, how do you, I don't know why hockey allows a player to, I, I think I've done this beef already where hockey allows a player to quote unquote finish the check. And why, why, let, let me see if I'm just not the only, Let's let's do a sports news review. Uh, am I the only one that comes with that idea? Is that like what, why do they allow to finish the check? Like, what is the reasoning behind that? Let's see. Why does the NHL allow players to finish the check into the boards? Nah. Yeah, why? Let's see. Well, why did... It doesn't really say 
like it's not really illegal checking types of checking, but I just the fifteen unwritten rules. Uh, the let's 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 see this. Okay, let's see these fifteen unwritten rules. Um, why don't they just make them rules then? What's these unwritten rules? Stop punching when a player is down on the ice. Why do you need to be an unwritten rule? Like, you can't determine that the player is on the ice and the player that keeps on fighting. Why can't they just get a nut? Why can't they just get thrown out of the game? I don't understand. I just don't understand the NHL. It's a hard sell when you, when you, like, how do you, I, 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 I don't know how to explain that. Like, why does it have to be, quote, unquote, an unwritten rule? Why can't it just be a rule? That's one, too. Like, why is it an unwritten rule, not an actual rule? Don't touch the conference. Yeah, it's okay. That's, that's fine. That's fun superstition. That's just fun superstition. Rookies should know their place. That's just like any quote unquote work environment. If a new employee, new employee shouldn't just come in there. Hey, uh, this is the way we do it now. This is the way we do things now. And I mean, that's that's. Don't cross the red line during warmups. Yeah, I'd stay. I understand one. That one I totally agree with. Just stay on your side. They should have a penalty for in, intentionally crossing that red line to start a, start something. Don't shoot high on goalie during warmups. It's your own. Hey, it's your own player. You want to? You want to? You want to? Oh, I don't know what to say. Yeah. I don't know what to say. If you you want to risk ruining your top goaltender, your your ace goaltender, uh, puck puck right in the side of the head and knocked out in concussion, possibly. You know, it's not like a helmet is not always going to be foolproof. I mean, still it's still a shock to the system. It, you know, it's um, it's. All equipment is there to to prevent injury, and yes, the helmet is such a important safety factor that it, the NHL at least did one thing better than the NFL, which was allow players to have any helmet they wanted to bring on the ice, and not back in the day when the NFL said, "Oh, you only have to use a certain brand of a helmet," so because. You find out later, and like, oh, it's because they they sponsored, they paid them, they paid the NFL. Oh, I, that's just crazy. That's just cra you couldn't get a better, you couldn't use a better helmet because in the seventies, you couldn't use a better helmet because, oh, uh, you know, they didn't pay us. <laughs> don't turtle. I don't know. I'm not going to get into that. What, what if a guy doesn't know how to fight? <laughs> Always try to get your teammate. I always try to get your teammate that third goal. No, you know, you can't always try to get that teammate the third goal. No, you've got to try to win the game. If you're up, it's, if the team is up 8-2, eight, eight to two, yeah, I give the try in the third period and five minutes left. Yeah, look for this. Look for that. Look, always don't even try to score. Try to get that player his hat trick. But if it's two to two in the third period, you gotta try to score. I, I don't know. That's an unwritten rule. Of don't understand. Don't care for. That's not. Oh, take off your gloves and remove your visor. I don't know what to say. <laughs> uh, and uh, the, there, there's the thing that can really. Wow. If the NHL made a rule that if you took off your helmet, that it's a it's like two minute penalty on top of the uh, five minutes, so both players would get two minutes if they did it simultaneously. Um, like 
Uh, NFL, if you take your hel- if they take the helmet off in the field of play, it, it's a penalty. And could and if they throw their helmet on the ground in the field of play, they can get this. They can get disqualified from the game. So imagine they're removing your visors. Just how do you remove your visor? You mean take off your helmet, right? Just if okay, yes. If you're going to fight, there are rules to follow. Drop your sticks and drop your gloves, and please remove your visor. Failure to remove your visor could actually result in a penalty. But wait, failure to remove your visor can actually now now results in. I I don't I don't even know where to go with that. I didn't even know that was a rule. But you have to remove your visor. It's the penalty if you want to fight with your visor on. Well, you, I, wait a minute. Wait a minute. I don't even know where to go with that. The the I was ready to just go on the whole thing about like don't even you you shouldn't be allowed to you should have a rule that you should. I I don't even know where to go with that. I I go. I'm totally like baffled by that one. That one is baffling. Never shoot the puck on the net after the whistle. Blow. That one is a hundred percent. That should be a safety rule too. If the whistle blows, don't shoot the puck at the goalie. I think it should be a, a, a penalty. The situation occurs most often. One team is called for offsides in the blue line. It is a violation of an unwritten rule. I don't know why. It's, if the offense is deemed accidental, the goaltender's teammate may get into the face of the offending opponent. I don't understand why it's not even a rule in the NHL. How do you... How is that not a how is that not a penalty to like the whistle blows and after the whistle blows, you, you, the player still shoots it doesn't matter. Finishes. I have no idea. The NHL is like still the NHL is still like it's in the sixties or fifties. I I don't even. Imagine that in the fifties, getting shot with a puck and that's the point. Uh. Keep empty net goal tender goal net. Keep empty net goal celebrations low key. Now that's not that's a problem with the home teams, uh, like um, uh, whatever, like of uh, facilities that will have the, the horn blowing. Music blaring for an open net goal that the team's down by two. Um, that's that's that could be a whole. Team. That's I I agree with that a hundred percent. Even it's an unwritten rule. It's a good unwritten rule. You know, if you're down that much, just if the team the other team is down by two goals, you score an empty empty net goal. Oh oh wow! You like yeah, you really. Then it says they're here that heavyweights fight heavyweights. That's an unwritten rule, definitely, because you can't really enforce a rule that, like, what are you going to start doing? You're going to have, like, uh, your weight, <laughs> the weight, the weight, and uh, what weight class you're in, a patch, you know, like, I don't know. <laughs> it's. Don't touch the Stanley Cup until you win it. Well, if you're a young person and you happen to, how do you think you're going to be in the NHL? Like, you just happen to go, oh wow, they allow you to touch the Stanley Cup, say in some mall or something like that, or see how old I am, and <laughs> mall. Yeah. Well, you never know. Whatever existing malls left in this world, they would probably have the Stanley Cup tour, part of the tour, especially in Canada. Alrighty. Okay, what do we have here?
I am trying to find... Okay, let's go to Blue Jays. Toronto Blue Jays. Let's see how the Blue Jays are doing right now. I, 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 I just... It's so early in the season. Toronto Blue Jays. Let's see what's going on with the Blue Jays. Okay. Oh, does Blue Jays game delay today? Start of the Blue Jays versus Jays Pirates. That's four days ago. Through the rain. Toronto Blue Jays. Alrighty. Why is Alex Manon struggling this year? Oh, that's not good. Here's why Alex Manon is struggling this year. Wow. I look at inside start of Alex Alex Manone. Keith, it's all these. What are they? What's going down? What's the standing? Let's look at the standings. How, how are they doing? Okay, so 2023 Major League Baseball standings. AL East. Right now, the Tampa Bay Rays and the Orioles are right behind them. So the Baltimore Orioles are right behind the Rays. Below them are the Red Sox. There's the Blue Jays, but they're above the Yankees. That is, could be a tight division, super tight division there. Oh, Blue Jays have lost two. Oh. I didn't know that. Blue Jays. Blue Jays has, lo has lost two in a row. Oh. Okay, I hope they're good. Okay. All right, let's go with some NFL news. The rest is just mostly politics. They're showing. I'm not going to get into politics and sports. Okay, so NFL news. Let's get the NFL news. Let's go to NFL.com. What the heck? Alrighty. Alrighty. The Jets sign ex Seahawks defensive line L. Woods. Ooh, he looks like a big guy. Wow. Okay. Alright. You know, they're serious about it in, in uh, New York. Wow. Okay, what do you got here? Ooh. Wait. wait. Patriots to honor Tom Brady at home opener and retired QB's return to New England. Well, I don't understand. Are they going to retire his number? The New York Patriots will welcome Tom Brady back to Foxborough for the 2023 home opener as a fan. Patriots owner Robert Kraft told NFL Network's Good Morning Football on Thursday that he invited Tom Brady back to New England to honor the legendary quarterback. Wow. The NFL is over a century old and 20% of those years NFL, the greatest player in the history of the game, played right here in Fox. Yes. Yes, I, I will definitely. He is like the Wayne Gretzky. You know, like Wayne Gretzky in hockey, Tom Brady. Yep. Yeah. You got Wayne Gretzky in hockey, Tom Brady in football. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. That's my opinion. Yep. Yeah. He led a two decade dynasty in New England. Yeah. And. And let's not forget a Super Bowl win for a Tampa Bay Buccaneer team. Well, and convincing win too over the over the Chiefs. That was so. Yeah, I was. A, I'm a Bills backer. I'm a Bills fan, and yeah, he was a uh, he was quote unquote a thorn on the side of the Bills, preventing them from ever winning that division. 
The Bills have to be second banana. And they have to make the playoffs always as a wild card team. And eh, it just happened. You know, where you can't you meet Tom you get a Tom Brady in your division. Uh what are you gonna do? Oh, Kansas City Chiefs to hold Detroit Lions in kickoff game Thursday night. That would be. Wow. Okay, I guess that's a safer bet to hold. Because they, the, they want the home team to win that Thursday night game. Let's not kid ourselves. <laughs> yeah, they really want the home They wouldn't put a – that's why they're not going to put, like, the Bills, you know. Last year was different. This is going to be quite the challenge. Imagine, well, then again, like, you, everybody's fresh. And if you're the Detroit Lions, if somehow you pull that game off, wow, it just, it just, it would just be such a spark. It would be a, a huge spark if you just pull that off and you're, and you win that game. But, yeah, the schedule is going to be released tonight, but Buffalo's playing the Jaguars in, in, uh, in London. The Jaguars played twice in the year. So they're going to, they're going to be putting in, uh, they, they've re they released the schedule a little bit here and there. And there it is, folks. They, 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 for some reason, they, they released this one, though. The 2023 NFL schedule release, Bills, Jets, and Monday Night Football opener. The Eagles and Chiefs will have a rematch in Week 11. Whoa, <laughs> that's crazy. I guess the Bills play the Chiefs, too, then. No, no, that's not the same division. No, 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 they don't play the Chiefs. I mean, I mean Eagles. They don't play the Eagles. Okay, the Jets, Bills Jets Monday night opener, because it's a special Monday night. It's going to be September the 11th, so, you know, we can all reflect on what that day. Um, yeah, it was just one of those days. Is we all have to reflect on how the world just changed, and it was just unprepared. We're all unprepared for something like that. I think nobody, uh, you know, we just, as a society, we're all caught off guard. And sports takes a back seat to events like that. So that's a good idea that a New York, well, let's say, they're going to call themselves a New York team, but they're playing New Jersey. But due to the fact there's just probably no real estate left in New York to, to have a football stadium. But, um, yeah, it's, uh, it's going to be, that's going to be, that's going to be quite touching. And, of course, Aaron Rodgers playing that night. Oh, it's going to be, it, it's just, wow, it's going to be, it's just, Okay, then here's 49ers coach Kyle Shanahan says he expects quarterback Brock Purdy back by training camp. Wow. Uh, that, that, I just can't believe, I, I, to this day, if I was a young person, I, I could have been a quarterback better than what happened on that field. How, how, how in the world they had to put a person back in the game that, that couldn't even throw a ball. Like, what was the... I, I just... Wow. And they don't even let us... They still haven't... I, I don't think they've ironed out that third quarterback rule, which I think they should be allowed to have. Like, that is... That was embarrassing that you couldn't have a third quarterback on the team. Okay, Super Bowl Chiefs who visit the White House June the fifth. Nice. All right, Texans signing 
Offensive guard Shaq Mason, the three year, 36 million extension. Texans, so Houston Texans finalizing three year, 36 million. Why does he have a buck in the years? There's something wrong with that photo. There's a Buccaneer helmet on it, on this person. It says Texans. Okay. Aaron Donald admits 2023 would be different, but is ready to lead Rams back to prominence. Alrighty. They are. It's a turmoil there. They didn't have any really, they didn't even have any draft picks. Jordan Love admits time spent behind Aaron Rodgers was difficult, but graceful for experience. How is it di difficult? You're, you're not going to play against it. Aaron Rodgers is going to beat you. All right. Okay, now. Here's, here's what I'll, I'll go to um, my draft thing was I can go to uh, my own page back in time and we go to sports news review okay I wonder how much I get sports news review wow it, it I, I'm like Oh, I'm right down there. There there I am. Oh, boy. It's hard to find me. There's my NFL draft live stream. Oh, wow. Okay, that was one minute. Okay, this is this is all right because it's on my channel. Oh, okay. I was late to that one too. I was late. Oh, I gotta go to my live. Okay, my live sports talk. Um, okay. Oh yeah. Here's all the titles. Okay, this is my own channel, so I I'm not showing anything I'm not supposed to. It's not someone else's channel. The uh, the bot that is, looks over these things. Like, this is my own channel. And okay, now what was was what happened was when I, I did NFL draft and I did that thing title where it says sports needs review NFL, NFL draft. I, I got cut out, I almost got scared that I'm gonna get cut out right now by saying the words NFL. And, and I'm actually just recording this and then gonna upload it like a regular video. This because live stream is. This, it's different, you know. I don't want this in the live stream category. Okay, so then I put "Hey," I had to it cut out. And then it cut out again. And then I put more discreet, and I don't know what to do. It was freaking out. And then, then I K K L K K. I just didn't know. I just pressed letters. Whatever happened, I just threw it down there. And then sports talk. I decided at the end. Wow, that was long. That was I was on for a long time. Oh wow, was that NFL draft live stream? Oh, it's only four minutes and fifty-five seconds. Okay, this is when I thought that. Yeah, this is this is the board I had. Okay, that's the board I had, and it's still cut out. <laughs> the, the this side was going to be left for the paper I was going to hang with my quick predictions, and this is the first time it cut out. It, it, it cut it cut my live stream out. Okay, and then NFL draft and it got cut out too. But at least I got the first one.
Yeah, that's the one I didn't know what happened here. It just cut out. Oh, yeah, that was my top five quarterback picks. I picked Will Lewis going number one. Then C.J. Stroud going number two. Hendren Hooker going number three. Anthony Richardson going number four. And Bryce Young going number five. Will Lewis didn't even make it to the first round, which I, I don't know what happened. That's just when the just cut out, yeah. Okay, let's see. Oh, my God. Okay, this part when I said Roger Goodell was at the podium, and my reaction was, what again? <laughs> that was the... Okay, so... <laughs> this is the live stream that was earlier. And then. Did I get it on this one? No, I didn't get it on this one. So, it cut out. Yeah, that's the one that cut out. I was so then I couldn't do that one. Then hey, hey lasted nine minutes. <laughs> I just threw the title down. Hey. <laughs> okay, there's me putting my list. That was my list of time. It doesn't even say I'm live. Yeah, it was weird. It didn't. It it just canceled me out everywhere. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I knew they were going to go for a quarterback, yeah. I knew that. I knew that was happening. Let me go get the... I'm going to go get the uh, Bluetooth speaker to make this louder. But I got to turn the... Uh, I got to turn my settings on to... Bluetooth. Okay, so I got to turn... We have to put it on here as settings. Okay, connections. Bluetooth, put it on. Okay, this is an old Bluetooth speaker. Power on. Bluetooth pairing. Bluetooth connected. Can you hear it? Oh, I got to put it back on here. Yeah. Oh no, why did I do that for? That was a bad move. I just took out my YouTube. <laughs> okay, it is my channel. That is my channel. It matches my voice to the other ones. Okay. Since I typed it in so many times. 
Okay, when you type in my, if I type in my channel code like this, I get, uh, I get sports news reviews, which is mostly cricket <laughs> with the S at the end. Sports news reviews. Oh, this is weird. It went upside down. Okay. So yeah, I'm like the at least I'm third down. Yeah, I need a I need a lot more videos and some views to get me to where it's like this is the channel instead of trying to search for it and it's even hard to find it. Like here I am with the football icon. That's a, that's that was uh, totally royalty free. So there I am with the football icon. Okay, live. And hey, we're on hey. Come on. Okay, it's this time it'll work. It's the, the screen went blank again. Okay, that's the I don't know what happened. Maybe the okay. <laughs> they're clapping away. Did they pick? Okay, what was my first reaction to? Pick is in. Pick is in. The pick is in. All right, that was my reaction. The pick is in. I'm all excited. Oh wait, here it is. Okay, okay, the pick is in. Am I going to be right? No, I was wrong. <laughs> it was Bryce Young. Do I put a check mark or do I put a? I was totally nice wrong. Big X on there. There it is. Okay, okay. The Carolina Panthers selection. The pick is in. Number one overall pick is, is screaming. Some screaming. It's Bryce Young. It's Bryce Young for real. Wow. 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 <laughs> I was totally. I was blown away. I would have thought Nancy totally Richardson would have beat him. Yeah, 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 I'm taking it. Yeah, I'm taking it out. They see it. They see. They see something I didn't see. They see something I didn't see. I, I, I don't disagree. I don't disagree. Yeah, I didn't disagree with this. This is height. I just didn't see it coming, but it was his height. No, it's not Will Lewis. Number one is number one is Bryce Young. I had before I made that decision. I really would have thought it would have been either Bright. It would have been. Like one of the taller quarterbacks, the six foot fivers, Rich, like the Richardsons, or, or, or which were the CJ yeah. Stroud. But well, he's a five foot ten, and we'll see what Bryce happens. Carolina Panthers. I was wrong. I had Will Lewis, and he didn't even goes. He make it the first I was round. Wrong. I had Will Lewis. Okay, number two is coming up. Okay, number two got cut out, so I better back it up. And I guess it's more discreet. <laughs> so then, here's my live, right? Here's my live thing. So now I'm gonna have to put. A, I'm gonna have to go to more discreet. <laughs> I wasn't showing anything. Not one thing. Uh, <clears throat> not volume. Nothing. No audio. Definitely no video. No, it was just me commentating. Watching television. So it was. <laughs> there I am. Sound like a defeated person. Let's just cut out again. Yeah, I, I don't even. The camera cuts out for some reason. It's crazy because they allow. It's like you can have the video, but I didn't know. It was weird. It was just weird. I didn't know if it kept recording or not. I just decided to just go. This title after a while is just, just hmm. yeah. I, I, I didn't really know. It's, I didn't it's know what to mostly play for myself, anyways. And yeah, exactly. It's just like right now. Back to the TV. Yeah, it's here. Okay, when is this pick is in? Am I on? It doesn't show that I'm lying. Yeah, that's that was a weird feeling.
reports news review okay this one did cut out again so I think LKK I guess that was the one LKK LKK was the one that kept it go it was fine uh, it, I was left alone here's what it looked like oh my gosh everything just keeps cutting out on me okay so the Texans pick is in I have number two here. Uh, number two, I had was CJ Stroud. So it could be an or now. Let's see what happens here. Could be any one of the will is this that, number one, Carolina Panthers, right? Bryce Young, yeah, that's the one, Bryce Young, Carolina Panthers. Man. Okay, so here comes the Texans pick. Wow. I, I, I was surprised that they didn't DJ. I, I can't wait to hear myself. One, pick number one. I can't wait to watch this again after the, halfway through the season and see what, how, how it might be. I don't know if some of them might not be playing or not. Like, uh, like Definitely Bryce Young won't be playing for the first few uh, games, at least half the season. So, first Heisman, first Alabama quarterback to win the Heisman Trophy, Bryce Young. Yeah. Okay, we're going. I should have been watching more of Heisman Alabama. Draft. This I didn't realize that they were going to have a quarterback that would have went number one. Which, like I said, I don't disagree. It was about the height. Okay, but okay, here comes the podium. The big R is at this podium. <laughs> the <now>. big R. <laughs> I, don't, I think you want to see the person's name also scared at the time. Stroud's cheering. CJ Stroud. Did I get it right? CJ Stroud. I got that one right. I did get that one right. He could have went I number one, right. dude. Let's see. Didn't I, let's check it out. Yeah. I got that one right. There I am. Yeah. There I am checking. Yeah. CJ Stroud. I got that one right. I got that one right. I, I don't know how I got that one right. But yes. Big check mark. Check mark. C J S T R. Yeah, he could -E he could have been number one for Texans. 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 Number three, I have to wait, I guess. Hendon Hooker didn't even go in the first round, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, he didn't even go in the first round. I'm very, uh... Man, be careful with these dreams. <laughs> Gotta be careful with these dreams. Yeah, I guess so. Ain't the ones you traded for him? I don't know. I'm trying to figure out where I was left. I got it correct, so I still got... I got Bryce Young is number five. He's not number five. So, but. So, I'll see what he's like. Let's see him. No, I did get number four. Just have to wait. We have no choice, but we gotta wait. I can't wait till I play this back for myself and I hear this great thing of a peanut butter jar. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, I'm done. If anyone wanted to trade down for this, because then the room was. Okay. Going on gut feeling, and, but I don't know how. Perfect. I got two left here that I thought would be either just two games, you know. Just, and yeah, what? I'm right is number four, but number three on my on this list is uh, Anthony Richardson, quarterbacks. Third quarterback. So number three, I, I got the uh, Anthony Richardson. Okay. 
who did he, who did they pick? Right. Like, well, I did get number four right, Anthony Richardson. Okay. In the okay, they got something, something, something. Oh, Anthony Richardson. I got that right. I said was number four. Well, he did go with number four. He's number four. I got that one right. I, I got that one. Oh, right. it's it's such right. a good feeling to get get predictions right. It's, it is a crazy good feeling to get those uh, predictions right. Something in between. Junior. They picked him at number three, and they the ones that traded for him. Nine and then three. Is it not okay. quarterback, right? If you're picking number three and you're not picking a quarterback, how would I can't figure out why wouldn't you trade for that one and get another draft you're pick? Because you're gonna get that player. Why is why the Texans pick pick now? Okay, so Three on this list here. On this one, okay, so three minutes left. <laughs> I don't know where my reaction was to uh, when number eight pick Atlanta went really old school with a running back. I was like totally blown away. It went really old school, and then the weirdest part was when. Uh, let me go with the list. Let's forget my channel here. Let's just let's let's shut this off for now. Power off. Okay, so let me just go with the list. What the actual list of uh, things happened here? Let's go back to regular search engine. Get off of YouTube. Okay, let's see. Let me let me go with the list. List. Okay, I'm gonna say list of. Okay, so the, the actual draft list. The 2023 draft list. Not the way they draft list. Let me try that again. The 2023 college draft list. Okay, so then, uh, let's see. Well, I understand. Okay, the 2023 big board. Okay, prospects. Uh, who was the first pick? Just give me tracker. No, just give me what it was. Complete results. Yeah, I want results. I want results. I want results. <laughs> okay. I want to talk about the results here. Because, let's see. No more no more predictions here. We're, we're, we're way past predictions. Okay. Okay. Complete results. List of picks. Round one. Okay. Here it is. Panthers number one, Bryce Young. Yeah, that was number one. The Texans took CJ Stroud. I got, that's the one I got right. I got that one right too. So that was good. I just got number one wrong. And number three was Will Anderson Jr., one of the most twitchy and fastest pass rushers. I, 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 I don't know what to think. If, you, if you're the Cardinals, um, Will Anderson Jr. could could you trade it with number five if number whoever nobody nobody it's kind of weird how they wouldn't pick a quarterback so number four was I I don't, I don't know if it was worth it. they could have got more for that pick it's such a risky move. You didn't. They really didn't want to lose this player, but they could have just. I don't. I don't. His ability to convert speed to power. I. I can understand. I mean, hmm. Like, I suppose if you have a generational edge rusher, you pick him three overall. When you 
could have probably. It's such a gamble. Could you have got him if you would have just traded your pick so you can. But another team actually take him. You didn't know. Number four, the Colts with Anthony Richardson. Yeah, yeah, that's the one I go. Yeah, the Colts, Anthony Richardson. That was a good choice. So then, defensive back, the Seahawks, number five. Kind of surprising they didn't pick quarterback. Of course, there was this Cardinals went crazy. They wanted this. They wanted. They didn't need a quarter. They didn't want to go for a quarterback, but they traded, traded up for him, and then like Paris Johnson Jr. That, that is such a weird thing. Number seven, the Tyree Wilson with the edge, and then the Falcons. There's where the Falcons. There's where the Falcons. I almost was going the went old school, but then I was reminded that he he by watching watching the video that he's a raw pass protector, but uh, refine his open field vision, work with space, but without any I think his size, agility, lateral burst, okay. But I think he's also can catch the ball, so that's the thing. If you if 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 the Bjorn Robinson couldn't catch the ball, it would be like, wow, you went really old school. Like that's old school draft picking a running back in the first round. That, that's old ways. That's old school. John Carter, defensive tackle. There you go. It's it's becoming a world of like you need you, you need like these uh, special players, and running back is you got to find a real. It has to be a real diamond in the rough, like a real gem, as they say, to pick a running back in the first round, and he's got to catch. Has to catch the ball. I'm pretty sure he can. Like in, like, like in number 10, the Bears, Darnell Wright, offensive tackle. Then offensive tackle 11. I remember it was like, Wow, that's creepy. Yeah, I couldn't believe that one. Okay, I just could not believe that one. The Titans took a pick number 11. Instead of picking what they actually took with Will Lewis, they, they took a, an offensive tackle. And then I'm like, what, what? You still had Will Lewis on the board, but they took him on the second round. I still couldn't. I, I'm baffled by that one. I was just baffled. We'll see what happens. And then 12, Lions went old school with a running back. <laughs> and then 13, Packers, a defensive end. A lot of edge rushers these days. People want edge rushers. And Steelers took an offensive tackle to protect their quarterback. Number 15 just took a defensive end. Wow, look at the trend here. Hey, what a trend here. And here's the first corner. Was the command, Watch the commanders. Emmanuel Forbes. Wow. And then and Christian Gonzalez, the corner for the Patriots. Here's the here's one of the first ones. Linebacker, Jack Campbell. That's probably who the Bills wanted. They just didn't want to trade the house for it. They just, they just didn't want to sell the farm for it. They wanted more picks. They didn't want to go down to trade with the Lions 18 and get a Campbell. Defensive tackle for the Buccaneers at 19. And then the Seahawks, the, 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 the wide receiver, Jason Smith, the Jim, the Jim Bond. And 21, the Chargers, Los Angeles, almost said San Diego. Los Angeles Chargers, Quinton Jackson, wide receiver. Oh, yeah. Yes. Another weapon for the quarterback. Long, strong, explosive, and pass catcher, Quinton Johnson. Ravens, Zay Flowers, wide receiver. See, now we're getting like. The wide receivers, 21 and 22 with wide receivers. Vikings, wide receiver. Yeah, the wide receivers were coming out. They were scared they were going to be gone. 
The Giants wanted a cornerback so bad. They traded with the Jaguars. Wow. And there's my there's, – this is the one I'm uh, interested in mostly in the, this kind of round was the uh, – Dalton Kincaid, the Dalton Kincaid, the Bills, uh, Utah. I mean, I, they probably watched that same game I watched was when Utah was playing against USC. USC, yeah, the, the USC, the, the University of Southern California Trojans. And what a crazy game. He was all over the field catching balls, and and it was like that was one crazy game to watch. I I, lo I loved it. It was pre it was prime time college football during the week. Wow, I loved it. I just loved. I just like. I think my second favorite season is when the college football has their secondary games like that one was. A uh, secondary game where where you kind of like the secondary schedule. I mean, I guess like where the playing for to who goes to a uh, who goes to the West Coast Championship thing. Um, but if USC would have won that game, they would have been in contention for a national championship. Which, well, the quarterback got hurt. I forget his name. He's not a lot. He wouldn't have been in the draft. He probably would have been taken. Let me see. This is this is someone Caleb. Yeah, Caleb. I, I'm gonna guarantee he he can probably go first overall if he's if he if he's not hurt bad. Let's see. Let's see. The USC quarterback. Let's see. It's Caleb. It, USC Trojans football. Now they only put the SC. What happened to the U? They don't want the U? Okay. Caleb Williams. Yeah. Okay. Isn't that crazy? Caleb Williams, born 2001, November 18th, 2001. Wow. Why wasn't he, why wasn't he eligible for the draft? I couldn't, I don't understand that. He won the Heisman Trophy. Okay, but, like, why wasn't Caleb Williams uh, allowed in the draft? No, 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 no. This is not the one. Why wasn't Caleb Williams eligible for the 2023 NFL draft? There it is. Why is Caleb Williams not eligible? Why was he eligible? Kelly one of the best players in college football and definitely a top prospect to become a star in the NFL. However, he won't be at the 23, and here are the important reasons why. Where's it? After amazing season with the US, USC, Kale Blooms is the clear favorite for the 23 he did win here. The Trojans are really close to the playoffs, and they shot at the net. Oh, there is that that forty. Yeah, it just went out of control after that. But a crushing forty-seven twenty-four loss to Utah at the Pac-12 championship game. Oh, I, 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 uh, that I, like I said, I, I, watching that game, I was that. That's what I love. I love watching football prime time. You know, and whoever kid has been pathetic there, okay. He cannot be taken by any team. Why not? It's still, it, I don't understand why. Ah, oh, come on! This is you. You got to be kidding me. These are like archaic rules. You got to be kidding me. It's 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 archaic rules to say, oh, you. You transferred a team, so we're going to punish you. That's because he transferred. Oh, come on. You silly. He could have been playing in it. I, I, I don't even know what to think if I was. This is something I would just. 
go to the general manager's meeting to have it like once a year or whatever it is. It's like, you got to be kidding me. It's like, what I, I, What team wouldn't want Caleb Williams? That's, that is just bizarre. Just because he transferred from Oklahoma State to USC. And it's like, well, we're going to punish you because you haven't played two years since. Just archaic rules. Ar archaic rules. I'm so like, you got to be kidding me, rules. Ah. Just crazy. Crazy. Just, just crazy. So, like, we'll see what happens, of course, during the season. No. And, Kayla, and. No, oh, that was fun. <laughs> Hitting the board. Okay. Well, I'm just going to wrap it up now. Uh, so, I'm just going to say, Vida uh, Saint, au revoir, bon, bonjour, and ciao for now.